Yes, back to Keda Jihin. You want to learn Keda Jihin? Stay right here. I got some easy peasy deasy steps for you and uh, you have a nice trained body and you can master your Keda Jihin in the game. The first step is uh, mastering the static position. Um, yeah, Kerajin is static. So find, find your way of, of positioning your elbow, some on the hip bone, some here. It depends on your length, the length of your um, arms, right? And make sure you do enough, before you do this, you do enough walking on hands and feet, Kerajin uh, Quattro stuff. Um, Balancing like a like a, a planche, right? Is that an English word? Planche, plank. I don't know. Yeah, make sure your wrist has a bit of preparation before you do this, because there's a lot of a lot of weight on your wrist, and uh, if you don't prepare it, it's hard. <laughs> And feel that, feel that. If you can control that, nice, you go to the next step, step three, and you lift two legs up. You have the choice to put your uh, face on the floor, or not your face, not your lovely face, come on. No, your head. Uh, but for balancing uh, training, I would recommend to just stand on, on uh, your hands, because you train more balance that way, yeah? Uh, it's not the only way, but if you want to train your balance skills, do that, yeah? Yeah, and after you've mastered this, this step with both legs up, you can flow it and when you bring your, your uh, leg up to, to lift, to be able to lift both legs, make sure you bring your left leg, if you're standing on your right arm, make sure you bring it backwards. Many people, they lift it up, but then it's hard to maintain balance, right? So put it back, backwards in your nose. Yeah, put it in your nose. Um, yeah, so, and that, and then train that, train it twice a week, maybe 10 left, 10 right, twice a week, three times a week, what you wish, and then within four weeks, you should definitely, three, four weeks, you have a difference, you, you, you should feel a massive, massive difference. <laughs> I think with most of the balancing uh, techniques of capoeira, this is where people uh, lack. Uh, they, they don't train the static position as much as they should, because then you build a foundation on which you can thrive, right? A foundation on which your body rests. If, if you want to do kata jihins dynamically, well, first be able to, to stand still, right? Makes sense. In the back I hear my son. Can you hear that? He's right there. Ah, well, he's not doing Kerajihin yet. He's one and a half. But tomorrow he starts training. Yep. Good luck, success, have fun, couple flow. There you go.